answer your question, my favorite NFL team is the Indianapolis Colts. That's great. And uh, what do you think about Richie Incognito and his impact on the Indianapolis Colts? I mean, he never played for the Colts, so. Um, Richie Incognito, well, for those who don't know, he was accused of bullying Jonathan Martin, who is another lineman on the Miami Dolphins, who they both play for. And uh, it got Richie Incognito suspended, and it made Jonathan Martin quit the team. And personally, I think it's kind of ridiculous that a man that large could allow himself to get bullied by a man who is not as large. As well as the fact that they both speak to each other in a very vulgar manner and are seem to be close friends. So I'm not sure why he came out to the media and told them he was being bullied instead of just talking to Richie. You bring up there, I think that's very insightful. I think if you were Roger Goodell, you could have done a great job. Probably better than the current Roger Goodell. Mm -hmm. Like a Roger Goodell II. Um, so I guess my next question for you today, what do you think about the uh, Donald Sterling thing going on in the NBA right now? That's a pretty controversial topic. How do you think the commissioner of the NBA should handle something as high profile as this. So yeah, Donald Sterling not wanting minorities at his games. Uh, I definitely don't think there's any place for that in the NBA because the NBA is full of different races, different cultures, and it's a beautiful thing because it brings all these people together for one common goal, and that's to play some awesome basketball to win a championship. And um, the culture of racism has no place in the NBA. And or any sports, for that matter. Yeah, no sports. Any sports. And unfortunately, racism is prevalent in several different sports. But Like, uh, like what? Like, uh, like soccer. Soccer. You'll see in... Uh, Football. Yeah. There's well, I'm going to call it soccer. We'll call it, but yes. Uh, uh, yeah, you see it in soccer in Italy. There's been reports of... One player named Mario Balotelli, who's actually Italian, getting called a monkey and having racist chants at him so hard that, you know, he walked off the field in outrage. But, I mean, uh, I think Adam Silver should definitely suspend Donald Sterling and perhaps urge him to give up his ownership. To resign. To resign. Well, I don't know if you can resign as an owner, but... I think there's racism in sports because even though society is becoming more forward-thinking and inclusive mm -hmm. towards all races and trying to move away from such a discriminatory and violent past, there's always going to be those people that cling to the old ways and uh, continue to believe in their beliefs and those are the people whose minds it's going to be impossible to change. And that's probably because of where they grew up, who they grew up around, and you know their environment. And uh, I think over time, the majority of people will come to view race as just as just a color. It's equality. I'll be one one thing eventually. It's yeah. all studies. In like 2050. Yeah. Time magazines said we're all going to be. That's all the time we have today.
today. Uh, thank you, our viewers, for coming out and watching this first video. So thank you for coming out, yeah. Dr. Pac from the night. Me.